I think this is an apropos time to do a little video. This is just going to be stream of consciousness. I just got done with a workout. Maybe I'll do some more of these in maybe the next like month or two. Uh, the reason why I think it's probably an apropos time is because I think there's a pretty good chance that we are entering back into a crypto, what, what the speculative mania that is otherwise known as a crypto bull market. I've written in the past and spoken extensively about uh, the way that it looks, the trend looks like crypto goes through a four-year cycle, something about a four-year cycle. And I've also, there's there's great, and I'll link to it in the description of this on YouTube, uh, there's a video from almost exactly four years ago. So I think it's September 29th, 2019, where I have a conversation with the legendary Chris DeRose. And we're talking about that cycle starting to build back up based on this sort of buzzword of DeFi. So it seems that there's a concept or a narrative, a buzzword. DeRose goes into some great detail about the dynamics of it, about how it's a search for investor ignorance, he calls it. It's really good. Please watch that video. Uh, it will tell you what you need to know about kind of the mechanics of this as far as somebody who would really know and who had been there, Chris DeRose, could, uh, could describe it. The first bull market, was really driven just by Bitcoin itself. That was sort of what I was in. I bought in in 2012. Nobody even thought that this thing, that the price would go up. By 2013, I, I, I bought December 2012, 15 bucks a Bitcoin. And uh, by the next November, it was $1,000, right? 2013, that was just driven by Bitcoin. Then we had 2017, and that was primarily about Ethereum, smart contracts, ICOs, etc., and how this smart contracts and everything is going to change everything. And that was a speculative mania there and the ICOs and people made a lot of money. Then it was DeFi. And it was in 2019, the end of 2019, that that's actually what spurred us to have the conversation, DeRose and I, because I said, what is this word DeFi? What does it even mean? That's how we started out. It's like, what does it even mean? It didn't really even mean anything. And DeRose goes into some pretty great detail about that. And then, of course, we saw that that was a, a great part of the rise was all of the things that happened around DeFi and the decentralized exchanges and what was going on on all of these EVM chains and whatnot. Stable coins were also a huge part, of course, of DeFi. They're the most important part, you could say. And... It was within that that we had, you know, the situation with the, the incredible crash and FTX and Sam Bankman Freed is, you know, on trial as we speak. Uh, and so I've been looking and saying, well, what is the next buzzword? There's got to be another buzzword. It's always driven by another buzzword. And it appears to me that that buzzword is uh, is Web3. And as I've sat and spoken with very intelligent people who are involved in the industry, you know, the first conversation, we can have conversations for hours just trying to define the term. And that's actually a really important part of this whole thing is that we don't actually know what that term means. And so I have been for the last, let's say for the last three years, hardcore, but I see that it's it's really a, a part of a longer process. Uh, there's an interview with uh, that I did with Gabriel Cardona, if you want to go and try and look for that, where we discuss some of these concepts. And really what I see as there will be a speculative mania around Web3, this is what I believe is coming. It's over the next two years as we go on our way up. There will be a speculative mania around Web3. And people don't really know what it is. And they're going to say it's a lot of different things like they did with DeFi, like they did with crypto in general, smart contracts, tokens and everything. A lot of people are going to be taken in by it as they were with NFTs, which were a part of obviously the last hype cycle. Really a modifier to it. But a part of DeFi for sure, because the marketplaces, especially like OpenSea, were using the DeFi protocols. That was really one of the key things. So you're going to see a lot of that. I do believe that there is actually some there, there. There's some meat on the bones of Web3 in terms of what it really is supposed to do. I've been building toward that. And I think that we've the, the products that we have that we're about to roll out are really demonstrations of the meat on the bones but a lot of it is just gristle a lot of people are going to end up buying gristle and they're going to have a bad be left with a bad taste in their mouth so uh i do think that we're probably on the way up i do think that it's about web3 and like i say i'll probably be doing some more discussion stream of consciousness probably after the gym again when 
uh, when I, I feel like it over the next few weeks, I'm feeling kind of inspired to share this information. Uh, I have written extensively about this for basically the last six, almost seven years now, maybe it's seven years, in Counter Markets, which is our monthly newsletter. Now would be a good time to subscribe. Countermarkets.com would be a very good time to describe because you're going to get all seven years, which is basically two cycles worth, right? You're going to get all seven years of not just my articles. I write an article every single month uh, as a back issue, but also you'll be able to see the trends as we've discussed all of the things that have happen happened in the past because sometimes it's hard to line up. If you're looking for a pattern, it's hard to line up where people's heads were at. And I think that it's a good snapshot of that. So I would definitely recommend checking out Counter Markets. Like I say, I'll probably do so, some more videos talking about specifically what I think Web3 is in terms of what you should be looking at if you actually want to profit in this next bull market. And if you don't want to get taken in like so many people did with buying into the DeFi hype and buying into NFTs and whatnot. So uh, that's about it. I look forward to continuing this conversation uh, as we move forward.